In Melbourne, we know that one in 10 children at one year of age have a food allergy. Ms. Bear, M-I-S-B-A-I-R, stands for the Melbourne Infant Study, BCG for Allergy and Infection Reduction. The ultimate aim of the Ms. Bear study is to decide whether BCG could prevent food allergy and infection in the first year of life. BCG stands for Basil Calmet Guran, after the two French scientists who created the vaccine in the early part of the last century. And they created this vaccine after a number of years of work um, where they were trying to make a vaccine that could prevent tuberculosis in children and adults. We believe the BCG vaccine has other beneficial effects and it can boost the immune system generally to provide better protection against other infections and also protect against allergy. The way that we think the BCG vaccine works is that it provides a safe way to expose babies to bacteria that is otherwise missing in modern hygienic life. The MISBEAR study is a collaboration between four partners, the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, the University of Melbourne, the Royal Children's Hospital and the Mercy Hospital for Women. Participants are recruited through the Mercy Hospital for Women. Um, we approach women in the antenatal clinics before the babies are born and then we follow them up once the baby's born. This is a randomised controlled trial, which means that we have to randomly allocate babies to whether they get the BCG vaccine or they don't, so that we can follow those babies over the first year of life and possibly longer to determine whether or not the vaccine has had an effect on either the number of infections they've had and ultimately whether they develop any allergies. And these will include food allergies um, and eczema and ultimately perhaps asthma as well. The BCG vaccine is given shortly after birth because that's the critical period of immune development and we think that it's important that the BCG give, is given early so that it can change the way the immune system develops to make it develop in a better way to protect against infection and um, cause less allergy. We chose to become involved in the Miss Bear study because there are so many different allergies in the community that you see with children. I would like to do what I could do to prevent my child from having allergies, eczema or asthma and hopefully this study will do that. All babies or a large majority of babies develop a small scar that stays with you for life and a number of adults if they look on their arm they may not even have noticed that they've had the BCG vaccine that's left a scar. Less than 1% of babies will develop an exaggerated scar. In very rare instances there can be more severe effects but in this study we'll be screening for a number of things to make sure that we reduce that to a minimum. It was about two weeks after that she developed a little blister that lasted probably about 10 weeks and now it's pretty much gone. There's only a tiny little, tiny little lump that nobody notices. Shortly after my child had their immunisation, a doctor and a nurse came out to the house and they did a blood test on her and it was really great having them out because the doctor's a paediatrician and you can ask any questions that you have and they also give you the number for the paediatrician so you can give her a call and any time throughout the first year and a half of their life, which is great above and beyond the study. So one of the other advantages of this Miss Bear study is that all the babies will have a full allergy profile at 12 months of age. If we find that any baby does have a susceptibility to allergy, we will go on to provide full clinical testing here in the hospital. So one of the exciting things about this Miss Bear study is that it's a paperless study. We're collecting information about babies by asking mothers to fill in questionnaires online or on their smartphone. The follow-up questionnaires are really easy. They email them to you, click on the link, and it's all online. There's no printing out forms, mailing them back. Questionnaires take about five minutes to fill out and you just take a photo of the blister and you upload it and send it back and it's really easy. So for more information, parents can either go to our website at missbear.org.au or they can contact us via our dedicated phone line. This is a very exciting study for us. It's one of the largest randomised controlled trials of BCG vaccine worldwide. It's so great to be part of a study that could potentially um, have an impact on improving the lives of children in Australia. We know that allergy is increasing in Australia and other developed countries and understanding more about allergy will help us design strategies to prevent them in the future.